Hello everyone, it's 20 Italians, bringing you another episode of The Nation of 20. I decided to finally put XSplit to bed. Um, when I tried to start this episode, I tried four different times, and every single time it wanted to record in standard definition. Um, every single time, it just it would not back off of it. I've got my my intercooler um, fan running. I've got the the fan pad that I sit it on. I got that running, drawing energy out. Everything else is the same, and it was just frustrating me. So I'm using um, a new recording software using uh, Marillus Action by Marillus, I guess. Um, well, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I also I did some things off screen just to just to sort of jumpstart where we're at here uh, to go attack London and hopefully we can we can get there. Um, you can see that that we are down to a negative 16. Uh, my army of 22,000 men that first lost here in Loreton. Um, so they lost, and then uh, Castilian Sarpig uh, followed it up and annihilated the remaining 8,000 men. So that actually gives us some leeway, and I got rid of some um, some navies as well. The the seven fleet, the seven transports over here in Mandaria, got rid of that. Uh, so right now we are building seven new transports, East India men, and. Um, Hopefully we're able then to bring even more people uh, to um, bringing more people to to London because that is still what I my my goal is to bring everyone to London that I can. All right, so right now we're at thirty. We're gonna have thirty-seven vessels, and I'm not really gonna upgrade any of these. Close member of the royal family has proven utterly naive and keeps telling foreigners vital information publicly. Uh, we shall execute him. And remember also that we are dealing with a lack of an heir. The Shah is now 68, which means we're going to have a noble ascend to the throne. It's going to give us horrible legitimacy. Um, but that's just what we have to deal with right now. And where are we at? Okay, they are good to go. So I'm going to bring the Admiral back. Once once that those four frigates get over to uh, to the Villian Strait to hem in the, the British. Here's our Diplotech, Public Punishments. It's going to give us a 0.5 to naval morale. Life at sea is full of dangers, and thus the punishments needed need to be harsh. If they do not have a sufficient deterrence effect, we will quickly run into trouble. Over time, a system of highly public punishments has evolved, and now the time has come to formalize those. This will greatly enhance discipline at sea. Excellent. The next one is going to give us joint stock companies, which is just going to raise us even more, and we are definitely far ahead of our European friends. We are first in the world in Diplotech, so we need to worry more about admin and military tech. We can't get any of our ideas, though. Um, we're almost going to be able to get Corvettes, which may help us. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it soon enough, though. Um, that gives us a plus 10% to morale Navy, so we're going to keep him. I'm thinking of getting rid of, um, rid of this guy because we don't need the expense, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and now units. We have units. We have space for units. Right now we have 38. I guess I kind of need a home guard, don't I? Um, I would say so. Three, four, five, six. And then some mortars. There we go. All right, so that'll be the start at least of a good, fair amount of um, of army, and I guess we'll just keep on building them up and surround, and see where they lay, or where they land. All right, we're gonna bring 
Then back to Ambon. Actually, why don't we just send everyone over here to Baral? We're going to make a huge fleet. And hopefully that, hopefully this fleet will be able to make it all the way to, to Britain. I just saw soon, soon Denise. No, oh, okay, we've taken a loan apparently. I didn't know we would run out of money. Oh, you s sly dog, you! I think we're winning though. We are going to attack them anyways. Come on, get there. Oh, there we go. They tried to break out. It actually really benefits us to, to disable this fleet over here. Um, wow, this is a long battle. What do we get? An heir to the throne! Oh my, Rosie. I think we'll keep that. Heir to the throne, 224. So they lost all of their transports. They, we annihilated them. Ernest Augustus Buckingham. He had superior maneuverability, but we just had we had the ships. They they tried to break out with nine nine galleons, nine three deckers probably. Wow, that's ballsy from the for the AI to do. But yeah, we were able to take care of them. We lost eleven frigates and two of our two deckers. All right, so now. We can keep even. There's, there's basically. Oh, sorry. I was I was paused. All right. No, I'm gonna bring them over here. It looks like our transports are starting to build. Yep. And we are. Who else are we gonna? We'll bring these great frigates over here as well. And we'll leave this token force of heavy frigates behind. Um, they're basically just blockading over here. I mean, they're going to probably, if they ever get into a war with with more actual British ships, they're probably going to lose. But that's, that's the price I'm willing to pay. Alright, do we have any more... No, we're just waiting for all the ships to get here. I love how I'm reinforcing on the ocean. Out out to sea, that's always good. 97 ships. Do I have any more in queue? I do not. Um, and they still have 8 here. I guess we can put some in, in Ambon. Two, three, four. Good. All right, so we have 33. We can carry 37. Well, then shan't I build some more? I think I should build some more mortars. Eh, it's cheaper. Two. Uh, one, two... I guess we'll build one more. Oh, we don't. We can't build in 88 days. Okay. Well, I guess we need these guys to repair, anyways. Nope, oh, they're repaired. Provincial unrest in Belungan. For what? They still want to be part of Brunei. We haven't changed their culture. That's why. And they still have separatism. War exhaustion. That could be leading to it as well. Um. I think we're just going to let him go. Uh, nothing really to deal with. Alright, still making a good amount of money. We're just going to let Belungan go. It shouldn't trigger or anything. And... Oh! I didn't realize that they were fully... fully incorporated into into the colony. Alright, got those. Alright, yeah, they're all... Okay, and then we'll bring them together. 
and all my various little men. Yeah, hm. come on now. Seven more days, and then we'll be on our way here. All right, we are headed off to London. What can we get here? Ship durability. Uh, that light infantry company, though. We should be able to make it. I have no qualms about that. To London, everyone. This will be a grand... A grand jaunt. And it doesn't say when I'm going to reach the Straits of Dover. They'll write songs about this voyage one day. Mark my word. Mark my words. They'll write songs. They don't really have that much protection. 60, 60 warships with 37 transports. That's, that's not really a lot if you think about it. And I've got these 13. It's Zunda. No, who is this? What the hell are they doing? Oh, they're... Are they protecting trade? Oh, okay. I guess call them back. Soon they'll be forced to give... Okay, so we didn't win. All right, let's turn them around. Oh, maybe we didn't even get that far. All right, well, now, though... Now we can... Um, I'm going to... Why can't I colonize? Oh, you... S SOB, they sent him again. Alright, well, I guess I need to worry about these close to, close to home now. Alright, I guess we'll have to bring them home. Man, that sucks. Although now we can worry about the war with Brunei. No problem. Alright, these aren't doing anything, so we'll go ahead and protect trade. Um, send these up to Malacca. Man, I was really looking forward to a to a butt whooping over there too. That's a shame. Oh well. Really looking forward to that to that London London embarkment. Or disembarkment. What are we going to worry about down here with Castilian Australia? They are still dealing with lots of rebels. Um, surprised that they haven't returned yet. There they come. Hooray, gentlemen! Alright, break those off. Okay, so now with these guys... Let's protect the Moluccan trade. Hopefully we can become the dominant force in, with them. Uh, we're going to take these. Oh, we could use it all to... 2332. 24 ships get upgraded? Sure. Um, and then can we... Alright, split that in half. Okay, so we're going to take, is this the one? Yeah. All right, so we're going to bring these over here to Saram. The rest we are going to, oh, they are moving. Duh. The rest we're just going to mothball. Um, all right, so maybe we should worry about Belungan getting okay with. Um... <clears throat> before we deal with let's see when does separatism end 1748 um, can't really actually tell the date that's just more of where the uh, the recording uh, overlay is so I don't actually know the date <laughs> that's not good is it um, but away we go oh no I don't I have no idea where where Yolunga is all right, we need to split off uh, one, actually, I guess two. 
Uh, yeah, we'll just use them to go like that. Good. All right. Oh, this is Yolungu. All right, we are good here. All right, all right. Yeah, we're going to turn Yolungu into a city. That's always an easy one to do. And we'll rest them down here in Saram. Man, that's annoying. I should have moved quicker. And look, they took Vanuatu again. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing. Well, I mean, I could have been quicker. I could have occupied it during the war. Royal marriage with Sulu has ended. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, what is Brunei going through here? They hate us still. All right, so if we were to declare war, let's just do some hypotheticals here. Take Halidor. This is 20 Sapines. I don't know. No, I'm, or I could just take it all. Sunda and Sulu would join us. Malaka's got their own issues, and Malwa, Malwa and Tunis are too far away. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Blanga can just, you know, they'll deal with it. I'm going to... She split in half? Why don't I split this in half? And... These 43... I'm going to go over... There we go. And I guess if I really needed to, uh, I think I still have, yeah, still have one, two more regiments recruiting. All right, we're gonna split these guys in half. So one down to fac fac. So basically, I need to, I need to get as much as uh, Papa, the island of Papua, as possible. All right, so hope, let's see, this is what they're gonna do. This is what they always do. And I don't know how quickly I can I can build uh, I can't build it that quickly. Um, I don't really want to throw just 12 regiments at them. That's not going to do anything. So we're just gonna I guess we'll just play play this game once again. These guys have some have some uh, blockading power. Yeah. Send them up to the coast of Brunei. There's some ships. But... Oh, well, that's all right. Well, they really rose up, didn't they? So I guess we can handle it. Oh, I guess not. Let's see if this, if we can handle it this way. And now they rose up. <laughs> fact, fact. Well, that we're gonna take care of them that way. All right, and we'll throw them back into the fold here. I guess there's just too many men. Had to pull back. Man, that's I've never had that happen before. I th maybe I have. Um, attack natives. It's not really worth that. Alright, so we have occupied... Oh, we need to take this before we take anything else. Okay. So we'll come up here. And hopefully take down this fort. And then I'll turn around and crush the army. That's the plan, at least. Right now they're just down in Sunda. It doesn't really bother me that much. Are oh, you guys just hanging out down there? Where are my fleets? Why are they not... Tunis! Defensive war. Need to help our ally. Well, I can't afford the drop in, of prestige, so we will accept that. 
and and I think this is a good point to end. So hopefully this is a better quality video. Like I said, I'm just fed up with XSplit, and uh, I have no idea what's going on with it. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully this will be a better solution. I thank you everyone for watching. If you like what you see, feel free to click on the thumbs up and uh, leave a comment if you wish as well. And if you have not yet, please click on the red subscribe button either below or at the end of the episode. Until next time, everyone, good night and good luck.